So I used to go to church when we're, I was very young with my family, um, but I can't say I really knew who Jesus was and wasn't really interested. And around the age of 12 or 13, uh, I stopped going altogether to church um, and was having a hard time at home and a hard time at school. Um, and things were getting on top of me to the point where my mum took me along to the doctors because things weren't right. And I was diagnosed with clinical depression and put on medication at that time. And life wasn't really that great. Well, I was working out in Athens in 1995, working as a nanny. And on my day off, I went up to uh, Lee Cavitos, a mountain in the middle of Athens. And whilst I was up there, I met some evangelists. They were singing a song that somewhere in the back of my mind I remembered. And they came over and was chatting. And my answer was that my life was okay. I didn't need Jesus. Everything was fine. I, I thought my life was rosy. I mean, looking back, I can see it wasn't. I was drinking, not secretly, but it wasn't social drinking. I was having drinks on my own. And sort of, I suppose, I didn't want to admit to that. And it was in the back of my mind. I came back to the UK and I was working as a nanny in Leamington Spa and the little girl I was looking after wanted to become a brownie. So I went along to the local church and um, I was invited to come along to the church the following Sunday. Um, I went along um, and did the course, but didn't become a Christian, had no intentions of becoming a Christian. It was, just didn't think it was my thing. But by then I'd made friends and wanted to carry on going to the church. So I said to the curate Morris, do you mind if I carry on coming to church? Because I've really made friends and yeah, I don't really want to become a Christian. Is that still okay? And he was like, yeah, sure. But could you come and help on the other course? Because we could do some washing up and help and clear away and stuff. So I went along and on hearing the talks for the second time, realised that actually all the arguments I was coming up with, that I was wrong and they were right. And what the Bible was saying was true. And it didn't matter if I didn't feel good enough. It was about who Jesus was and what he's done. And it had no bearing on who, what I thought of myself and where I was and where I was at. But he loved me and wanted to, to know me. Um, life isn't great all the time. In fact, sometimes it's really not very good at all. Um, I'm going through a depressive period at the moment since having my little girl. Um, but we aren't promised that life's going to be great. God doesn't promise us that. But he does promise to be with us. And I look to the fact that this life is temporary and I have eternal hope. I don't, even in my depressive state and when I feel like I just don't want to get out of bed in the morning, I never feel hopeless because I have a, a hope in Jesus and I know that he's with me. So even in the midst of it, um, of life not being very great, um, I know I've got that eternal hope.